good. They are nursing. That's what I like to see. I'm so lucky to have these great helpers. Yeah. <laughs> are you helping take care of Odin? Yeah. Odin thinks he can pull that post out of the ground. That's what mommy's been doing. Sorry if I'm out of breath, but I've pulled the post. It took three months. Three months and nine pigs to get this area clear of grass. As you can see, they've eaten all the grass in here. So this is where the line was, all the way to there. So I've taken this corner off, steaded my fencing that way along the tree line and the grass over near Titus, but still out of his reach. You like helping. Well, you're not supposed to help take the trash out of the trash bucket. That's supposed to stay in there so Daddy can bring it up to the house. Sometimes working with kids is a blessing and a curse. <laughs> Thanks, Odin. Oh, he's picking it back up. Good job. I'm gonna finish moving the fence out a little bit on this side here. And then I'm gonna see if I can help Brian with his project. He is setting up a quick temporary shelter for some new chickens. So he's got their little pen area. He's gonna put the nesting boxes in. He's gonna wrap that area with chicken wire. And then he's gonna build them a run out here. And this is just until we get our fencing completed so we can start free ranging out there in the fenced in area. But we're getting nine. Yep. And they were what kind? What was the breed? Golden Comets. Golden Comets. So a friend of his is, sorry, I got bugs flying in my eyes. A friend of his at work is um, going to be going out of town and has decided that it would just be easier to get rid of their chickens for now and get eggs off of us. So that's what we're going to do. Super excited. So this is going to be our corner of our fence and it's going to go all the way to over there and then it's going to connect over to that one over there and this area is going to be all fenced in for the pigs the chickens the ducks the buck whatever we want to put out here it's just a ba basic way to begin our rotational grazing we will not be having the cows in here this is what that heifer does when you let her near a chicken tractor she stands on it. I have no idea why. She doesn't, at first we thought it was because she was trying to get the food, but she does it at any time of the day, not just when we get fed. She's just a heifer. Isn't that right, Lashes? You heifer. Sure got some happy pigs over here. They discovered what I have begun to do. Let's give them lots of yummy grass to eat. That is one of the things I love about Cooney Cooney as a breed, is they are pastured pigs. They do really well on grass. So rotating them around our pasture is going to be really nice for the land. And they don't root that much. As you can see, they really haven't made any mud holes except for right by their water. So, big difference between the American guinea hog guinea coonies that we have. They have definitely dug every inch of their shelter, but these guys definitely are not as intrusive on the land. And that is a good thing in my book. But I must say, I kind of like the fact that I have the option of using the American guinea hog as a tiller. <laughs> because when it comes time for me to start planting my fruit orchard which I have a lot of plants saved up and potted up ready to go in the ground in the fall when the weather is optimum for them and if I take a fenced area and put the American guinea hogs in there they're gonna till it all up for me and get rid of all of the invasive grass so that I can then put down a layer of mulch for the trees and the fruit plants that's exciting all right so even though it's been wet in Georgia. The ground is really dry now after just a little bit of time. 
not raining. So I am having a hard time getting the post back in. But we're only got a few more to push in. But as you get closer to the trees, they're easier to push in. The joys of farming with a baby. Makes it a little bit harder when you're carrying extra baggage around. <laughs> he was not wanting to be free ranging anymore. He wanted a mama to hold him. Are you a mama's boy and a daddy's boy? Best of both worlds. soon but we're gonna be moving them to a completely different setup and shelter once the fence is done so I'm not too worried about that this will last it's mainly for shade the inside shelter is more of a protection from the weather but they've got lots of shade on all sides no matter which direction the Sun is and then they've got their wooden shelter with a solid roof if they need something more secure. Good job, Mama. Good job, Bill. You're eating lots of that grass. <laughs> the babies are loving it too. But boy, Bill has not stopped chomping since I gave him all this new extra grass. Seems like ever since we moved here, it's been a series of temporary setups. We are temporarily doing this until we can get this done, etc. And I feel bad because our birds have suffered the most. So now we've got these guys who've been in a temporary enclosure that was much too small in a bigger enclosure. And then we'll get the other ones in here and we will expand this from here so it'll get bigger when we have more time but once we have the fence up around the buck pan and we have the buck able to get out and have more space and out of his temporary setup then the birds are our next priority and then the greenhouse for now we're just chipping away one thing at a time as best we can and that's all we can do right Ryan so we will get these chicken tractors fixed up for these birds and we will get this temporary set up for the new birds and everything will be golden and glorious soon real soon i keep saying that but i mean it this time right odin right right you're getting bug bites we better bring him in we better we better bring him in he got bug bites eh eh you can't have my camera